Oh, uh, that was big for me. Like you said, the relationship I already had with them, um, I kind of already knew how the program was ran. And Kentucky was a very close pick for me out of high school. So when I entered the portal, kind of was the first game on my mind. And Coach Brad White was the first coach to contact me after I entered the portal officially. What was kind of Coach White sell to you? Um, it's a good opportunity. They're losing both of their starting cornerbacks, and I'm coming in with a little bit of experience under my belt. It's a good opportunity for me. What did you learn uh, in your one year at Cincinnati, getting some reps as a true freshman? Uh, just the college system, like everything. Um, the college, the way college is ran, is kind of a system, like I said. So being able to manage time, I think I learned. Um, being able to manage the classroom, that was an adjustment I had to make out of high school, and really learning myself, being away from home and facing a little bit of adversity, just growing into a man, for sure. Is the defense, the style that Cincinnati ran, is it similar to what Coach White likes to run here? No, it's a little bit different. Um, this defense is a little bit more versatile, I would say. Um, Cincinnati kind of had a system, and we kind of stuck to our system that we ran. Coach White has a little bit more, like, just a little bit more flexibility with the defense, a little bit more versatility also. How big of a factor was it to see other transfer DBs come here and land in the NFL sometimes? Yeah, that was a big recruiting pitch, man. Um, Boss Man Fat for one of them. Um, a lot more for sure, but I was a big fan of Boss Man Fat just to see how he was able to transfer in from LSU and take, you know what I'm saying, take over the program and the program allowing guys. A big thing, like a big thing for me is seeing how they treat um, transfers. And I was able to come in here and I realized like everyone welcomed me like I'm a teammate, like I already been here. It's not like I just got here, it's more like I came in with them guys. And that was really big for me because I see a couple other places is not always that case. Sometimes it's a little bit of envious that come with that or, you know, but like I said, the guys welcomed me with open arms, and that was a big, big recruiting pitch for me. You, you weren't the only transfer quarterback that's brought in. What's your relationship like with Jansen, and how uh, is that competition going to be in spring practice? Yeah, it's going to be fun for sure, man. Um, like I said, Jansen is a great grinder for sure. Um, when I was able to meet him, he had a good first impression on me. First impressions are big on me. He had a good first impression. I look forward to competing with him for sure. He's a, he's a um, very knowledgeable guy, I realize, in the film room. He's very knowledgeable. How appealing was the challenge of playing the SEC? I'm from Columbus, Georgia, man. I got told I'm an SEC. I got beat up for going to Cincinnati, so I'm happy to be in the SEC. I'm excited. Uh, like I said, we was able to play Arkansas week one last year. I was able to go, go to Arkansas and see Fayetteville, the atmosphere. And the SEC is something I really want to be a part of for sure. Whether it's a home game or away game, I know it's going to be a great atmosphere. So growing up in SEC country, what do you know about it? What do you expect? Um, I know it's the best conference in college football. I expect to play against them, but the best athletes, and I feel like I'm one of the best athletes myself, so it's going to be fun. I'm able to showcase my skill set on a high level. There's a lot of dudes that from your high school that have gone on to play power five football. Some, you know, there's one of them already on the team here. Right. What's the, can you just kind of describe that the, the high school you played for? And, yeah, uh, man, I tell them, um, I was just telling some of the guys, I feel like we could beat some Division one schools, honestly, <laughs> man. Like, it's a lot of competition in there, man. It's a lot of great, great skill sets and it's great coaching too also. That's the real, that's the thing that separates a program like Central from any other program. It's really the coaching staff and the way they run their program. The way my coaches ran my program in high school is no differently than what we do right now. It's, it prepared me, you know what I'm saying, fantastically. That was the reason for me transferring my senior year so I can get prepared for the next level and I feel like that it definitely did that for me. Vince Merrow talks about how they're big on not ending relationships bad when a guy maybe chooses another school. Uh, considering Kentucky before, is, is that something that played a part when you were coming back? Yes, for sure. Like like you said, um, I I say when I committed, I received some texts to say I'm better than what I chose or, you know, it would have been better for here, but it wasn't the case with this. Coach White told me he wanted me to be the best version of myself, whether that's with him or that's not with him. He just wanted me to be succeed as a, as a person. So that, like, that was very big on me also. How do you describe your skill set? What do you feel like you're good at and what are you working on? About my skill set, I'm just a ball player, man. I feel like I'm very confident in myself. I like to have fun. I'm, I got kind of a swagger on the field. I would say I'm, I'm just very comfortable. I feel like I can be myself. I don't have to be anyone. I just let my kind of let my talent speak for itself. In Cincinnati, you got to play for a guy in Kerry Combs, who coached in the NFL, coached at Ohio State, uh, got a lot of ties. Now you're here with Brad White, same guy, been in the NFL. What did you get from Kerry, and what do you hope to get from Brad? Are, are there any differences? And I know you haven't been around Brad much yet. Yeah, um, you know, I, when I committed to Cincinnati, I didn't even commit to Kerry Coons. When I got there, my coach that I committed to, he left, and I was I met Kerry Coons when I first got there, and that was I was a little nervous about that. But man, I say Coach Kerry Coons is a great guy. I have nothing bad to say about him. He's a fantastic guy, 
And man, he he has his own little. I'm pretty sure he'll want me to keep that under the table, but he got a couple techniques he taught me a little bit that I take with me. Still see when I'm also mix coach white techniques with that, and that's gonna help me. I'm gonna use all the techniques, kind of just like a sponge, I say, soak all the knowledge up and just use it all. You talked about the coaches and the players who welcome you, but what about what's been going on with Kentucky football over the last four or five years and beyond that? How much of an attraction was that, and what was it? Yeah, so. Um, I, got, I went to Hardaway High School, uh, and when I went to Hardaway High School from my freshman through my junior year, I had a social studies teacher named Alex Sturgeon. And Alex Sturgeon is a diehard Kentucky fan, y'all. So <laughs> it's nothing that Kentucky went through for the last three years that I haven't seen. I swear to God, y'all, like my phone, he sends me everything, whether like, you know, the tweets or stats to say um, the rank, that the defense among the SEC, that, just that type of stuff, he always send me that. Um, so like I said, I've been, I've been in the loop for sure. He keeps me in the loop. <laughs> <laughs> That being said, just, just seeing what this defense has early on, uh, how do you feel like you can contribute to this? And where, where do you feel like this defense can go? I feel like this defense can be really good, man. Like, we have leaders coming back, like with JJ, but we also have young playmakers on the defensive side, like Dion and Jordan Levette, and even Zion, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like we got, we're going to be very good this year, but I also feel like we have more time to grow with each other and build that chemistry. But I'm very excited for this defense, man. With Coach White having caught in the play, he's going to put us in great position to make plays. I'm excited, man. I can't wait. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.